Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today when I wake up and I want to edit my video and this thing happened. So basically, as you can tell, all the videos in the timeline has this missing plugging issue. And definitely it is not because of the adjustment layer because you know, after I've unused the adjustment layer, this thing persists. So when I go to the specific you know, clips and go to the actual you know, video inspector and I've checked there's no plugins applied and all the videos, all the audios, everything is not accessible and after I've checked all the plugins and other videos, other timelines, this thing doesn't appear so definitely that's not a plugins issue and after a quick googling, I did not find a satisfied result to solve my problem and I sort of figured it out myself. So basically what I did do before reopening the Final Cut Pro is to delete the original media of this project in the Final Cut Pro's content package. For those who are wondering how did I go there, you can go to Go, Home and then go to Movies and if you put your Final Cut Pro content bundles over here, you can find them over here. So this is the actual one that I used. So I right click and click on show package content. And this is the file that I've chosen. And as you can see, there's no such thing as original media. This is because the original media is about 180 gigabytes and my storage is running low so I just deleted the original media. Something similar will be this folder which has the original media and transcode media. Usually if I don't have enough space, I'll delete both of the folders of some projects. You know to save space on some of the other projects that I'm working on. On the other hand, I could go to the, you know, cache folder, right click on the show package content, and I might delete the analysis and render files as well. But in this case, I have not deleted these files. So the only possible reason would be deleting the original media folder. So the solution to this problem is very simple as well. The easiest way would be just going to the actual folder that I've already put all the original you know media folders over here the uh, footage and audio over here and I'm just gonna drag the entire file back to the Final Cut Pro's very own media pool so how is it done I'm just gonna drag this folder come to here and wait for a while for it to be processed as you can see most of the clips are back with some loose ends here and there. So how do I tie up the loose ends is to figure out where these folders are coming from. So these are background music. So I have another folder that is designated for background music. So I'm just gonna drag this folder back to Final Cut Pro. So after everything is done, you can go back to your media pool and just to go through with everything and to see if there is any yellow sticker with an exclamation mark in it. Your whole timeline is saved. Your entire project is saved. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and bye bye.